Hi, my name is Ethan Loverda, a student at Working Actors Studio, and I'm here today with the scene study teacher, Joe Daly, to work on the, a monologue from Shakespeare's The Scottish Play. So Joe, I've been working on this monologue for a couple of weeks, doing readings and such. Is there anything else I need to work on before I get off book? Your reaction to the imaginary dagger, when you first see it, what's your first reaction? Does it, is it, is it a weapon that excites you, or is it foreboding? Uh, some weapons you look at and you say you want to use them because they're so, they, they appeal to your personality or your thing about weaponry. Right. Uh, decide what it looks like exactly. Well, for, I think for the dagger, I imagine, I see it as a smaller weapon, something that is very used, is very good at killing. It's not a parrying weapon that you would use in fencing and uh, rapier and dagger fighting. It is something used primarily to come up behind your adversary and kill them. Would you use it at the dinner table? Absolutely not. I think it's something, it's different than the so one... it's not a common looking weapon? No, it's definitely not a common looking weapon. Is the what does the hilt look like? It's a smaller hilt. It's a little leather bound, but it's not anything overly flashy. For, I do think it's going to be different than the well, one I, I would bring yeah, in next the week. The real I'm dagger. asking what seems like inane questions. Uh, the, more, the stronger reaction you have to it, the easier it's going to be to find your way through that. If I know exactly what it looks like to me. Uh, I'm going to have an emotional reaction to it. Correct. If it's something that, uh, if it doesn't repel me, but it's something, oh, I would like to use that dagger. And then that takes you into the point where you're drawing your own dagger. How do they compare? So think about that. I mean, you need strong endowment for this particular part of the speech. Uh, so. Let's work on that, shall we? Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, Joe. And it's Ethan Lauberdet for Working Actor Studio.